square x and no it's not x on a square and i'm not talking about the video game either it's something else but first let me ask you something have you ever worried about opening a suspicious file you received from an email or whatsapp or even telegram or have you ever connected to an insecure wi-fi network and worried about someone being monitoring your online activity well if so you'll be more than happy to know more about squarex because squarex is a browser extension that focuses on privacy and allows you to open any link or file and yes even those with malware without the risk of being hacked and you want to know what the best part is yep it's completely free and if you think that sounds Sounds crazy, let me give you some context. SquareX is a true game changer in the cybersecurity world, and I mean that because it was built with a deterministic security based model covering all attack angles from the ground up. And here's the kicker SquareX won't ever slam the door on your files or links. Believe it or not, you can confidently open even the sketchiest files and visit suspicious links without the risk of being hacked. Now, SquareX has four main functionalities that I'm very, very excited to show you. So let's just hop on the computer and see what they are all about. All right, so first things first, we need to add SquareX to our browser. And today we are going to be using Google Chrome, but just for you to know, SquareX is available as a browser extension for Google Chrome, Brave and Edge. Now, for you to access this page, I'm going to leave a link in the description or in the first comment below so you can get access to it. And then after clicking that link, you just have to press this big purple button down here. And then let's just give it a second. Now we can press this big blue button here on the top right corner and let's click on add extension and there we go yeah we just made it so now what we need to do is you go to your top right corner to the extensions icon and then you want to click on pin on squarex so you have it always visible and very quick and easy to use now after you get squarex pinned into your toolbar we can go and press on the icon and you'll see here this big purple button again saying get started so we are going to click on that and now all you have to do is add your email so i'm going to do just that just give me a second and there you go after adding your email just give it like two or three seconds and you will be redirected to this page and now everything is set up and ready to use so let's just go and click on the browser extension and see what the main functionalities are all about we are going to start with the disposable browser which is our first functionality in our browser extension now let me just tell you first what is the most important thing for me with squarex boom we have dark mode how cool is that i mean if you spend as many hours on the computer as i do i'm sure that you're going to appreciate this feature now, as you can see here with the disposable browser, it allows you for fast, secure and anonymous browsing from any worldwide locations. And here we have a list of the worldwide locations that are available for us to choose from. And just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose Canada and click on start and just give it like a couple seconds. Boom. And there we go. Just like that. Now we have a cloud container browser that we can use to navigate the web as if we were in Canada. So I'm just going to search for malware, for example. And yeah, that's very nice. Now here on the bottom right, we have a list of controls that we can use. So we can go full screen mode. We can enable and disable the audio. We can do the same for the ad blocker. And lastly, we have this little button here that allows us to copy our session link, which means that we can open the exact same container based browser on a new tab. So let me just show you. Here you can see that we have our malware search. Let's see malware samples. And if I search for malware samples and I go back to my previous tab, you can see that it's the exact same browser session. Now, let me just close that and also close the controls. And now let's just say that we are done with our browsing activities and we just want to close the session. Well, if we go back to our controls, you can see that we still have seven minutes left, which can be extended if you still need to go and do some more browsing or some more research. But if you don't and you just want to close the session, you can go to the browser extension and you see that we have our Canada session open here and you can click on the X. Boom. And just like that, all your browser history has been deleted. Please start a new session. When you're done with your session, all your history and browser activity and cookies and session data, all the containers based browsers and the data inside them are destroyed to make sure that your privacy remains the top one priority. Now, with the disposable browser, there's another thing. Let's just say you're looking for some malware samples. And to show you this, I'm going to have to move my face out of the way. 
and I'm just going to use this GitHub repository as an example, okay? So you can right click on it and open in SquareX right here down below and choose any of the worldwide locations available to open that specific link. So you don't have to go and open a disposable browser and try to navigate manually to the specific link that you're trying to visit. You can just come here and let's just say that we want to open this specific link in Brazil, for example. So just give it a couple seconds and boom, there we go. Here's our session. Now we can navigate through this link and see what's happening here and go through some malware samples without taking unnecessary risks as if you were opening the link on your local machine. Next, we have the disposable file viewer, which is probably my favorite. Let me show you why. First, you have to go on your top right corner and click on profile and click in settings. And you have to make sure that your download interceptor is enabled. And why is that? If you go to your email, let's just say someone sent you some very suspicious files. You're not really sure if you should open them or not. Here's what you can do. If you click on download, let's just download this report file here. You'll see that, okay, now we have an option to view file safely in Disposable File Viewer, which I'm just going to click on that. Another thing you can do, and for this we are going to use a different file. For this example, we are going to use the accounting records. You can right click on it, and again, down here, as you can see, you can open it in SquareX. And for this particular example, I'm just going to choose Australia. Now, here it is. It took like I don't even know, one second to open the file, but here's the interesting thing. Remember the report that we tried to download this first file here on your email that we pressed here on the download button? You can see that we have it down here as well. And now you can just do some changes to the file. And what's interesting is on your controls on here, you can download the file after you're done with it. So let's just say you went through the file and it's legit. It's what you were expecting and you did some changes. These containers are running open source software. So in this case, we have only office for you to open your doc files, your Excel files. You can download those, you can upload other files and it will reflect the changes you did. Now, as you can see, we have a tab for our Excel file as well. And the same goes for this one. You can just do some changes and download the file afterwards. Now, when you're done with this and you just want to end the session and dispose all the files, again, you just go to the browser extension and you click on dispose. And there we go. File viewer has been disposed. Please start a new session. So again, just like with the disposable browser, all your data and files and the changes you did are completely deleted and destroyed after the session ends. Now, there's another thing with the disposable file viewer. If we start a new session and you just give it a couple seconds. Okay, nice. You can see that you can click here and browse through your file system or you can just drag and drop straight from your computer and analyze your files using the disposable file viewer. By the way, here's a little fun fact for you. Did you know that SquareX was founded by a cybersecurity expert? I mean, Vivek should probably be a cybersecurity all of famer at this point because he was the founder of Pentester Academy, which is a well-known cloud-based education platform for offensive cybersecurity. He was also the one who discovered the infamous attack Cafe Latte and has written multiple books and research papers on offensive cybersecurity techniques. Now, in my opinion, having a founder with such a deep background in cybersecurity, it's only natural that SquareX prioritizes security and privacy. But let's get back to the computer and take a look at the two remaining functionalities that SquareX is offering at the moment. Next, we have the disposable email. Now, this is not a disruptive or like unique tool that SquareX has, but what I like about it is that you get to have all of these functionalities together in the same place, and I love how easy it is to use. So let me just give you an example. We have this email here, wonderful something, and the email domain is typing squirrel.com. So let me just click here and copy the email. Now, let's just say we want to sign in for a newsletter, but we don't really want to get the spam or we are just trying to test something. If you're a bug bounty hunter or a pen tester or if there's some use case where you don't want to use your personal email or your work email, this is the perfect use case. So I'm just going to copy the email here and click on the arrow. Now it looks like we have to confirm that we are not a robot. So let me just submit that. And there we go. It looks like we were able to successfully subscribe to this newsletter. Now we got a notification down here, SquareX inbox notifications. Now I was about to ask you, how do we know if we are going to get any email back? If you click here, here's what's gonna happen. 
Bam, there's your email. You can see that we got an email back from Hacker News with a link to confirm our subscription to the newsletter. Let me just close that. You can also access your inbox if you click on the browser extension. And as you can see here, you have a inbox button that you can click and you'll have all your emails here. This is the same exact email we just saw a couple seconds ago. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more personalized, there's some ways to customize your email. So if you click on edit, you can just come here and say that you are a very nice admin and choose the Hey What's Up uh, email domain and click on change. And there we go. We have our new email that you can use to do pretty much everything we want when it comes to testing tools in which we need an email address as an input. So yeah, this is very useful and I love it. And that's basically it. Basically with this, you get a temporary and anonymous and secure email inbox. You eliminate the spam, unwanted ads and malicious threats. Now, if you want to just delete the inbox and get a very new and fresh email, you can just click on regenerate and you get a new email right away. Last but not least, we have smart integrations. And if we click here on settings, you can see that we have a Gmail smart integration preview in enhanced privacy mode. Block all email trackers so the sender will never know you viewed the email. Now, I'm pretty sure that SquareX are going to add more features on this category, but for now, we are going to test this one for Gmail. So make sure you have this enabled. And if you just enabled in order for it to work, you have to refresh your email. And now you come here and you see this email, but you don't want anyone to know that you already read it. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. And as you can see, we have this option of preview in enhanced privacy mode we are going to click on that and what will happen is you're just reading your email in a disposable file viewer which is in the cloud but is disconnected from the internet and if we zoom in a little bit as you can see here on the right square x enhanced privacy mode blocks all email trackers including images the sender cannot know you read this email and there's a private view and no data is sent to our servers again privacy number one top priority and as you can see uh, the subject was an urgent email, but it was not that urgent after all. As we all know, it happens very frequently. <laughs> now that we cover all main functionalities, were you surprised by them? Well, I certainly was. And I can tell you that as a cybersecurity professional, I've been using SquareX since the first day I discovered it. And if you want to give it a try for absolutely free, make sure you check the link in the description or in the first comment below so you can give it a try and see it for yourself. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!